beautiful, isn't it? That's what you call a view, guys. So I've taken a wrong turn and it's brought us up here. Sometimes wrong turns can be a good thing. Oh, that's someone's driveway there. Ooh. Look at that. So yeah, we're just on our way to a place called Zaroots Beach campsite <clears throat> but as I, as I just said we've just taken a wrong turn but now we've been blessed with this incredible little drive I'll let Kate film yeah, it's probably please. not a great idea <laughs> please do <laughs> Kate's very nervous really uh, do not like heights but look at that it's incredible what's not to love about that it also did say um three and a half ton with a red circle on it so I'm hoping that that doesn't mean it's not suitable for us when we get further down the track I guess we'll find that out <laughs> yeah hopefully that won't cause us any problems no I think we'll be okay look at that it's amazing Northern Spain has delivered so far. Just a quick one about Wee Camp though. We stayed there last night. We only stayed so that we, I think we said so that we could go to San Sebastian and not get our van robbed, which may or may not have happened, but we've heard stories. But I would definitely say Wee Camp is a good spot if you just want to go and see San Sebastian, but I wouldn't stay there more than a night, maybe two. It's, um, there's a lot of rules and regulations, is all I'm going to say. But it is a very nice campsite. But there you go, we went and saw San Sebastian and it was beautiful and we're going to come back without the kids <laughs> at some point. But in the meantime, enjoy these views and this drive. stopped at the supermarket to stock up for this heat wave we're just gonna go and um, chill out for a few days so yeah van life's not always um, nice views beaches mountains and that or is it check that out even from the supermarket car park we've got a beautiful view we've just arrived at Grand Camping Zaroots here we are here's our little park up but the best thing about this is that view. It's pretty spectacular. So I think there's a little path that we can take that meanders down the hill to the beach. So looks like there's a little wave out there. So we're going to go for a, well, I'm going to go for a surf. Kids are going to go for a splash around. And I'll take you for a tour around the uh, site a bit later. So here we go guys, the epic walk down to the beach from Grand Camping Zaroots. Are you looking forward to Show this walk, Neve? How far is this walk, Neve? Show off fly. <laughs> is it a long way? Yes. <laughs> it's a long way, but we've got some great views. So we're just going down to the beach, gonna have a surf. Kids wanna have a surf. And just enjoy the day in this beautiful sunshine. Look at this.
So this is the steepest bit, as you can see, it's a mission coming back up this one. How you doing Neve? Okay? How you doing Ethan? So that's it guys, that's the walk down. Only takes about 10-15 minutes but it is quite, quite a steep walk. Going back is the worst obviously. But we're here now and we're going to enjoy this. So just so you can see where we've come from, campsites just up there, all along the top there. And that's where we're parked. And you can see there's a steps coming down. Here comes the kids and Kate. Got some small clean waves today, so we should have some fun. Let's get in. You going in. See you later guys. You enjoy. Yo. Ah! What can I ask you? Why have you got goggles on? Why have you got goggles on, Ethan? From what? From the sand. And I got my slippers. Beach. Do you like the beach, me? to put on then it won't be cold. You want your wetsuit on? So this is Zaruts Beach, campsite up there, had a great surf today, super clean, it looks busy but actually there's not that many people out, kids are over there playing in the play park, yeah it's been a great day, definitely recommend this place guys, Zaruts in northern Spain, just in between sort of San Sebastian and Santander I suppose, but yeah. Beautiful. So we've just come back from the beach. 
epic walk down those steps. Only takes about, what, 20, 15 minutes? Yeah. But it's super steep, but it's good. But now I need to rinse off the wetsuit and my surfboard. So I'm gonna show you my shower setup. So over here we've got 12 volt cigarette thing, bucket of water, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. That's it, that's the worst of it off. And that's our little shower setup. Hope you enjoyed the day today, kids. Yeah. At the beach, did you enjoy it? I enjoyed staying in the park. You enjoyed it in the park, not the beach? No, I enjoyed it. Oh, did you enjoy the walk down to the beach? No, okay, okay. I, I enjoyed like the, the walk down very much. I didn't mind the walk back up. It was a bit of a workout. It was quite good. Um, bit of a burn. But the beach itself. Beach itself, lovely. Where's my drink? Apart from the weird man that was uh, skinny dipping and doing like weird body. Oh yeah. Body day, totally starkers. <laughs> right next to the kids. Felt a little bit uneasy, but he was in his own little world having a great time. Yeah. And so he got I. His dink out. He got. <laughs> <laughs> so I got I got in for a surf and I um caught a wave back in and just saw a man naked frolicking in the uh white water. So that was funny, wasn't it? Did you see his penis? I did, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> so now we're just having a beer and watching the sunset. We've done some washing today, which was much needed. So yeah, we're gonna get these kids in bed because they're tired. Um, so we are watching the sunset and it is really nice so someone has to show it. Come over here Ethan, let's go and have a look. Look at that, that's pretty special isn't it? Do you like it Ethan? One of the best sunset you've ever seen? <laughs> With your pokeball? Yeah, not a bad way to have a, a beer and a wine, watching that view. Still some surfers out there. So guys, that's us out for the day. We'll uh, pick you up tomorrow. Morning guys, we are just getting ready to um, hit the road after our last night here. So as you know, that view is incredible. Kids are just watching some um, TV whilst Kate Cook some breakfast and I just thought I'd give you a quick run round of the campsite. So these are all the pictures on the front here. They're a little bit more expensive but only a few euros to get that sea view. So that's what we opted for. But if you walk up here, so you've got camping spots, got some permanent caravan pictures which I think are all Spanish. Walk up here, you've got these glamping cabins. Some of them overlooking the view. Some just sit back, they look pretty cool. So peaceful in the morning, although last night it was super, super windy. The van was going mental. So I didn't really get a good night's sleep, but that's only because of the wind. Can't control that. But yeah, so up here is Toilets and shower block. That's uh, super clean, really nice. Seem to be cleaning that all the time, so it's um, pretty good. Yep, so I'm going to take you up here towards the reception area. 
and a bar and restaurant. So that's the reception there, this is the bar and restaurant area. We've got a laundry, We've got the views back over that way, that's the toilet blocks I just mentioned. Do your um, van waste and stuff in there. Laundry in there. Little shop in there, I haven't actually been in there. Little shop, probably sells all the usuals, baguettes and croissants and stuff. Here's the little restaurant in there. Lovely outdoor terrace here and a kids play park over there. This is where we had our dinner last night. For the view. And there's another shower block down there. That's pretty much it guys. Got some pictures up here. But yeah, lovely, lovely, spacious um, site, Grand Camping at Roots. 100% recommend this place, it's been awesome. I think it was uh, £29 a night, which I didn't think was too bad considering the views. You pay a lot more than that in England for something that's got no views. <laughs> but yeah, really enjoyed it here. So we are packing up, we are heading to Hosgore as I said last night, and we're just going to spend the day there, have some lunch, have a wander around go and see what the surf is like, I know it would be too big because it's one of the world class surf breaks but it's a cool place so yeah, we'll take you down there and I'll pick you up when we're down there guys oh, 